Yo, what's up guys? It's the Goblin. Today what I have for you guys is a 96-4 domination on the map plaza. I'm using the MSMC with the silencer and the extended mags. And uh, basically this is a really good setup and I do like using the MSMC with the sort of a setup on it. So the killstreak setup I had today is not the lodestar, not the one-two punch. It is the blackbird dogs and the swarm, which is the best rushing killstreaks in my opinion. And plaza is a map that I really like to rush. I really like to get up into the enemy spawn and get up on their roof by their spawn point whether it's a or c if you get up on the roof you can overlook all these guys who are just clueless looking over to b domination and you can also get the people trying to sneak down the sides and catch them as they spawn so that's definitely the power position on this map is getting on top of these roofs uh you know in the enemy spawn you don't want to just be camping back in your own spawn unless you're a sniper or something like that and that's not really my play style i like to get right up in the enemy's faces and you guys can see here i pick up a quick swarm right here in the first round and after the first round i think i'm going 36 to 0 and then i end up going 96 to 4 in this gameplay so pretty good in my opinion and today what I'm going to be talking about is a bit about working the map on Plaza um, obviously giving some tips for Black Ops 2 still a fairly new game you guys want all the best tips for each map for the kill streaks and I'm going to be talking about the best gun in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 so first off to work the map obviously you want to get on top of the roof and there's different ways to do it I would not recommend going down the middle of the map obviously unless you're trying to go for a B capture if your team needs the capture on B then you would obviously want to go for the capture be able to pick up those 200 points but the way that I like to do it is I like to come down the left side which is basically right behind me here I like to sneak down and I always like to um go to the far outside of that building that is right by BDOM. I find that you go through there there's lots of people head glitching you with like uh, you know burst weapons or assault rifles and I find that if you take this way all the way around it's a lot easier you can see here I take it straight through that's because there's only four people in the game but taking this this route is very risky I recommend going far around the outside like my teammate does right there if they're you know I, I knew there's only four or five people in the game so I knew it was pretty safe and I just wanted to get to my destination as soon as possible to kill these guys as they were capturing C. Obviously my teammate picked them up with the double c4 i think it was right there but that's basically what i would recommend the other route that you can run is through the uh the music room and, and i me and my friends call this music room we call it the the tyler the creator rapping over dubstep room which is basically because you, you know the music they have in there is some sort of a club beat we just pretend that it's you know we visualize tyler the creator rapping over that dubstep beat and that's what we call that room pretty funny and it's kind of funny that um they made the uh the music in this game a lot better than the footstep if you guys didn't know footstep steps are very very difficult to hear in this game and I might be doing a video on that pretty soon but they're they're basically you know you don't really need footsteps I usually just plug my uh plug my headphones into my computer and listen to music while I'm playing because you don't really need to sound whore or listen for footsteps using sit rep or awareness as it is in this game. It's kind of useless compared to MW3. And MW3 sit rep pro was like the best perk ever. You know, you wouldn't get blown up by claymores and stuff like that. Plus you could also hear the enemy footsteps and it was extremely useful in 6v6 uh, or even ground war. Sit rep was very useful in ground war as well on most maps. But, uh, you know, in this game you don't have that but you do have a blackbird so you can see where the enemies are coming from. But yeah, that's basically the ways that I would recommend running in this game is uh, through here as you guys can see through the tower of the creator wrapping over dubstep room or through the the far outside you want to stay away from the middle of the map and once you get into the enemy spawn you want to play it safe one thing that I noticed is when you get up on top of the enemy's roof um, they like to nade you they like to see for you so I'd recommend flak jacket I was using hard line with ghost I believe in this gameplay but if you use flak jacket and hard line uh, you don't really need ghost you know you, it, it can work quite well and work to your advantage so let me go over the best gun in Call of Duty Black Ops and 2 and this is the MSMC in my opinion this is the best gun in the game definitely the best submachine gun and the reason for that is um the reload time is not bad. The clip size is not bad. You know, all those stats are average. The the damage at range is quite good. You can see even with the silencer, I decided to you know stop using it with the silencer. Really, I don't really use silencers in this game. I find that it's a lot better to run this with stock, and the um, stock and the extended mags work a lot better than the silencer extended mags that I'm using in this gameplay. But this works out quite as well. Uh, you know, you can stay off the radar, get up in the enemy's face, and uh, you know go bonkers in the enemy spawn if you know what I mean. Some people, some people say go. You know, why do you always say going ham in the spawn? Well, you know, what What else are you going to call it? You know, getting kills out the wazoo, going bonkers in the enemy spawn, you know. Well, what are you guys going to call that? I just love getting up in their face and just, uh, you know, causing chaos in the enemy spawn, if you guys know what I mean. So here we get the Blackbird. I come up here, and it's pretty safe. They do not expect you at all. But MSMC, definitely recommend it. Um, and my question for you guys in the comment section below is, do you guys agree with me that the MSMC is the best gun in the game? If not, let me know in the comments what is the best 
best gun in the game, or you know, if the, if you agree with the MSMC, what attachments do you like to run on it? I find the extended mags and the stock or the silencer and extended mags are the best. The other thing about extended mags is it only gives you 10 more bullets. It only gives you 40 in the clip instead of 30, which is not that useful. And there I die like one off the swarm or one or two off. So if I could have got that, I could have easily had a really good game here, 100 kills. But I uh, still end up going 96 to 4, which is pretty impressive in my opinion. And hopefully you guys uh, did enjoy this video and this gameplay. If you guys did, could you go ahead and leave me a like rating? You know, it only takes a quarter of a second. And basically what likes do is it helps out my channel to grow. You know, it just makes more, more people notice my videos, notice the effort that I put in for you guys for the Goblinator. So I just appreciate it if you guys have a second to go ahead and leave me a like. And uh, maybe we could hit 2,000 likes on this video. If we could, that would be extremely amazing. And uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this. And as always, subscribe for a cookie. I'm out. Peace.